Hallelujah. Psalm 67. Oh Lord, make your face shine upon us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Welcome, beloved of God. We proclaim the word of God on this wonderful 12th day of the 6th month, 2023. Psalm 67. For the chief musician, Oniginoth, a psalm or song. This is Psalm 67, one incredible time at the breaking of dawn. Again, I come from Nairobi, Kenya, proclaiming the word of God on this wonderful day. I am Malcolm David. And this is 150 days of Psalm season 7. We thank God for his faithfulness, his love, his kindness, and his many kindnesses that, you know, he would enable us by his mercy to be able to acknowledge his word and to proclaim it even at this day in the name of Jesus. Psalm 67. As always, I encourage you to always start by asking the Lord to open your eyes to see wonderful things wonderful things out of his law precious father we pray for wonderful things out of your law the lord you reveal to us more even as we proclaim this word and even experience the choice of walking in the way of understanding in jesus name amen hallelujah proverbs 9 6 says turn for your simple turn from your simple ways and you shall live. No, it says what? Walk in the way of understanding. Understanding is one of the things that we must constantly seek God for. This time we ask the Lord to, you know, make his face shine upon us. That we will experience the hand of God shining upon us. Live your simple ways and you will live. Walk in the way of understanding. Understanding is a choice and it's a spirit. Wisdom and understanding are both in the spirit realm. That's why you see people with high academic performance, but they lack wisdom and they lack understanding. So for you, when the face of the Lord shine upon you, you will receive wisdom and understanding and God will help us to know what to do. Psalm 67. For the director of music with stringed instruments, a psalm, a song. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us that our ways may be known on, that your ways may be known on earth your salvation among all nations. Selah. This term Selah is majorly one that wants us to pause and think about it. That may God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us. Hallelujah. What does it look like when the face of the Lord is shining upon you? Oh my God. This is the kind of approach that we appear before the Lord as we proclaim this word. The reason why God is shining his face upon you is that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you rule the people justly. And guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, O Lord. May all the peoples praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest. And God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us. And all the ends of the earth will fear him. Beloved, this psalm is a wonderful proclamation that we make on this day called today. That as the Lord has enabled us and given us the grace. And for those of you who are 
still in the night season when you're watching this or maybe you're watching this in the afternoon whatever time it is you're watching this is proclaimed live at the breaking of dawn it's a beautiful thing to be able to seek god and ask for his face to shine upon us it is the prayer for the prosperity of god's cause on the world in the world that the purpose why we gather before the lord is that indeed we may glorify him is that we may make choices that honor him that we may make choices that glorify his name as we can sing with Nathaniel, let's say, From the rising of the sun Till the setting of the same Your name is to be hallowed Adonai From the rising of the sun Till the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Adonai. From the rising, from the rising of the sun, till the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Adonai. Psalm 67, a prayer for the prosperity of God's cause in the world. And the purpose why God will release a blessing upon us is that he may receive the glory, is that we may honor him, is that indeed those who delight in praising God cannot but desire what others may be brought to praise him that others we desire that others may be brought to praise him and for long and long for the day when all the nations shall bow hallelujah every nation declare you are king you alone are everything jehovah jehovah all creation will bow at your feet. Hallelujah. Every nation declare you are king. You are Lord over everything. Jehovah. Jehovah. Make your face shine upon us, O Lord. Make your face shine upon us. From the rising of the sun Till the setting of the same Your name is to be hallowed Adonai. Psalm 65, 67 verse 5 says, May the people praise you, O Lord. May all the peoples praise you. That let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. This is in the King James and in the NIV. That the Psalm 67 5 is a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful prayer. That then the land will yield its harvest. And God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us and all the ends of the earth will fear him. Beloved, this journey of 150 days of Psalms is a great assignment that I must really say that it has taken the hand of the Lord for us to continually be consistent and to come up and proclaim the word of God in this manner. We know that truly his face is shining upon us. And I want to encourage you May the face of the Lord shine upon you. May his face continually shine upon you. May his face shine upon your bread and your water. May you be, you know, may you be get hungry. May you hunger more for the Lord. May you desire him more. May we desire him more. And even as the land is yielding its harvest and God blessing us, May God bless us and the ends of the earth fearing God. Because it says in Psalm 67, as it commences, it says this, and I will proclaim it one more time. 
May God be gracious to us and bless us. Make his face shine upon us. May God be gracious to us and bless us. Make his face shine upon us. May God be gracious to us and bless us. Make his face shine upon us. That your ways may be known on earth. Your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy for their rule. Or for you rule the people justly and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, O Lord. May all the peoples praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest. And God, our God. God, our God. Hey, God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us and all the ends of the earth will fear him. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the place where it sets, the name of the Lord is to be hallowed. May all the peoples praise you, O Lord. May all the peoples praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest, and God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear him. Beloved, the blessing of the Lord makes rich, and he has no sorrow. I want you to begin to speak it into your situation, into your condition. Let them begin to watch this space. Because when God comes, you will look at it and say, how did this come to be? The Lord who comes into every circumstance and turns the darkness into night, into, into day. He comes, he turns the darkness into day. He says that make the night into morning. He is the faithful God. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12, it says that before the light of the sun, the light of the moon, the light of the stars grows dim. Fear God. Fear God. As he makes his face shine upon us, I feel the warmth of his glory. May the land yield its harvest. May the Lord yield, cause a harvest to come. Genesis chapter 8 verse 22. It says, as long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, Summer and winter, day and night will never cease. As we see the Lord preparing us, as we see the Lord's word coming to pass in our lives, literally, I'm reminded of the birds that we keep seeing every now and then and hear them singing. The birds know a secret that we need to learn. The birds, they never spin, they never uh, so they never farm but the birds have a very important aspect to do one is to praise the Lord all the types of birds even the ones that man may manipulate to try and make them his own uh, emissary then and make them his own um, uh, avenues to manipulate them you've had the term as wise as an owl you may have heard that English term. But yet again, you find that that creature has been used over years in the occultic realm to try and, pro uh, to try and proclaim that one, the vulture, the peacock. Which other one? There are some birds that are... There's another very dark bird. I think it's a, a raven that represents something to do with the death and all those things. But once we come to the Lord and ask him to make his face shine upon us, there is no darkness in, on light. You cannot bring darkness. You cannot switch on darkness. It's not possible. You can only switch off the light. You cannot switch on darkness. Darkness is there already. If you don't believe me, just take a container and put it on your head. You just see black. Why? Because darkness is available. Without you struggling for darkness, darkness is available. Even right now, 
darkness is available with the light that you're seeing brightly up here there's still darkness if you enter into a tunnel or you enter into a cave if you enter into a house without windows you will be in the dark while it's still day outside you understand so we need to ask God to make his face shine upon us and bless us. This is a wonderful benediction. What a wonderful thing that we are coming to this beautiful psalm right after um, the one of Psalm 66. We come to this wonderful seven verses of Psalm 67. I want to encourage you, beloved of God, choose light over darkness. May the Lord make his face shine upon us. Let him bless us. In a mighty way may the lord continually bless you may he bless your your family may he bless your bread your water may he give you creativity good ideas and particularly that you may stop procrastination that you may stop procrastination that you may purpose that without fail you're going to do what you're supposed to do and the name of the lord will be glorified in your life that you will see the faithfulness of the Lord in the land of the living. Because he's a mighty, mighty God. One more time, I proclaim Psalm 67. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us. That your ways may be known on earth. Your salvation among the nations. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you rule the peoples justly and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest. And God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us and all the ends of the earth will fear him. Hallelujah. Shalom. May the blessing of God come upon us and favor us and portray his goodness on us. I speak a blessing to you as we continue in this journey of 150 days of Psalms. Shalom, shalom, and more shalom, shalom. <laughs>